Welcome everybody to Very Important Geeks, and today we are taking a look at the Skylung Ippomaker GK75. Now, Skylung was kind enough to send this unit over to me for a review. It is the GK75, and it's got their OEM Tigra keycap, so let's check it out. Also, how cute is that? That's so cute! All right, and inside the box we're gonna have instructions. Andy, keep them around. We've got the keyboard itself all nice and sealed away in its little plastic cover. Plastic, ooh. And that is a nice shot of the board right there. Look at those. Those are nice looking keycaps. It's a 75% layout keyboard and a knob. Love that. Also inside we've got the USB-C cable braided, nice. Uh, we got dual switch and keycap puller and extra keycaps. Now the GK75 is a wired keyboard using a Type-C cable. It comes with white or RGB light, and it comes with your choice of optical hot swap switches, and it comes in optical red, optical green, silver, blue, yellow, and brown. Now this one right here comes with the optical green switch, and the green is a tactile switch, and it's supposed to be their gamery version, which means it has less pre-travel than the other ones, 1.2 millimeters instead of 1.8. Oh, that sounds really good. Now this board is going to come somewhat muted from the factory. It's got a gasket just above the PCB and some case foam in it. And it's important to note that the knob, while you can customize the different functionalities, the knob itself is not hot swappable, so don't try to. And let's flip it over and have a look at the back. You see it comes with rubber bumpers as feet already, and then other two-stage feet here as well. Love that. And they did something really cool here. So the USB goes here, but you can route the cable through different channels depending on whether you want it to come out of the left side, the center, or the right side. Gives you a few more options as far as desk setup goes. Now it is programmable via their own software and it does support window and Mac layouts. In fact, on these keycaps, um, they'll come default with like Windows and Alt, but also just on the side there, you can see the equivalent Mac commands. And before we continue, if you are looking for keyboard electronic news, always looking for good deals, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload more nonsense. Taking a look at the keycaps themselves, they feel really nice. The colors are nice and rich. I like this colorway that they have. Ah! All right, now speaking of the keycaps themselves, I think this colorway looks beautiful. These are their Thai gray keycaps, and they're gonna be dual shot PBT. And I love this colorway. I love the dark gray. I love the sort of cream off-white color, and then the small pops of the muted green and yellow. I think it looks really nice together. The legends are really crisp and sharp, and they have some sub-legends to let you know what are the other functions, especially when you get um, into the Mac layout. This is a funky escape key though. I don't think I've ever seen this, but that's like a stepped escape key. Interesting. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever seen an escape key like this. Now, I love a good keyboard with a knob, and the knob itself is really nice. It's uh, got a nice gray matte color to it. It's got good knurling on the side. The tactility is really nice. If I can have one complaint, it's just a little bit wiggly. It could be a little bit sturdier, but still, overall, very nice. Now, something I did just discover when I tried to plug this in is that this USB-C cable has a special kind of shape to it. So, I don't think every USB-C is gonna work if it doesn't have this shape, um, because the USB-C is a little bit inset in there. Now, let's check out how it sounds.
I think that sounds really good out of the box. I've done nothing with this keyboard. I've added nothing. So this is just as it is from factory. Um, so if you are looking for a sub $100 keyboard, 75% with a knob, RGB, USB-C, programmable, supports Windows and Mac, has really nice double shot PBT keycaps, I don't think you can do much better than this for the price point. At 60 bucks, that's a steal. And thank you Skylong for sending this my way. As always, all opinions are my own. They don't get a chance to see this review before you do. So everything that I've had to say is my honest opinion. And honestly, it's a fantastic keyboard. I'll leave a link to where you can get this keyboard in the description below. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you think this is a great keyboard. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and until next time, geek out.